Thank you. Uh, Jake, mm. would you help me? I just goofed. Oh, sure. What can I do? Well, this this was supposed to be a box for a family of nine, and I I think I overdid it just a little. Can't lift it, huh? No. <laughs> take all nine children to lift this box. Well, we'll just split it up and make separate blocks. Oh, goodness, where is my head? I brought this letter for you from the Browns, and I'm sorry, I'm just not thinking. That's okay. I got it sooner than I would if I would have gotten it. What is it? It's got a return address on it from the WSB. Who do you know, by the way, from the WSB? Frisco, give it to me. You win the prize! <laughs> organization my brother works for now. Well, they don't have humans in the WSB anymore. I wonder how Robert and Anna did it and stayed such decent people. I can't tell you how I felt when I opened that up and it wasn't even from Frisco. It was from some personnel officer. I know how you felt. I saw your face. You're Mrs. Jones, your husband. Could that Officer Jones had planned a surprise holiday visit with you? He asked me to tell you how deeply he regrets not being able to do so. So what, they don't have a telephone he could call you with? No one would tell me where he is. So it's last minute change of plans on special assignment. Now tell me, what's that supposed to mean? It's, uh, I don't know, ask Robert. It's undercover or something top secret, which Frisco loves. Yeah, he sure does. He loves that more than anything or anyone. And this guy, whoever he is, has the nerve to wish me a happy holiday season. So, you know, I think I wanted to see my brother as much as you wanted to see your husband. And I've missed him so much. I don't have him anymore to bounce ideas off of anymore. And you know, I think if he had been here recently, maybe things would have been a little different. Yeah. Look, I feel like that we should spend the holiday together. Uh, that's very sweet of you, but I just... I know, I know. Okay. You're not going to feel comfortable and have a good time around Lucy, at least not yet. It's going to take a while. I'm going to try very hard to, to like her better, but I'm going to do it for you and not for her. I understand that. See, I didn't understand that the town felt so much against her. Why don't we split the holiday? I'll be with you, I'll share it with you, and then I'll split the other half with her. Oh, Tony, it would be like a fire alarm for Lucy. She probably has a very special day planned for you. Yeah, she probably does. 